So this video will be on MM5314 by National Semiconductor. Using it in a different way. We're going to try and get one out of ten outputs out of it instead of the seven segment display outputs. All right. Um, I have a bunch of these chips, so um, I'm going to use this one coupled with 74C915. And what that does is it takes the seven segment information and convert it to BCD. Okay. Um, National Semiconductor, the 53 series chips have a couple that do BCD. Um, but uh, I'm going to stick with the 5314. It's going to be the same amount of packages to do what I need to do. So, seven segment here, 74C915 converts to BCD. And then we're going to go over it and feed that into a 4028. Okay. Um, that's BCD to 1 out of 10 decoder. From there, you have outputs. Feed them into transistors, of which I don't exactly know if this is going to work yet, but this is my idea here. Um, we've got 10 transistors, 10 LEDs, and that comes back around the loop, then goes to another transistor to ground. Okay, these are the digit drivers. This is going to be a six digit clock. We're going to have six digit driver transistors to control this end of the circuit. Back, and the loops, loops completed. Alright, so that's the idea. A different way to use a 5314. Um, it's a vintage clock chip. Uh, some people are still playing with them. Uh, I'm not really a microcontroller guy. This is what I like to do. No frills, no alarm, no battery backup. Just simple, right? So here you go, one out of ten driver, and uh, I make I got a couple of good clock designs in my head. So this video will be pretty much about getting the circuit up and running, and then uh, we'll be using a couple clock designs down the road. Okay, that's it for now. So this is what I came up with, um, and we got a little test rig here. 10 LEDs and we can connect that up to one of the digit driver outputs. All right, and then we have our 1 out of 10 outputs on the left here, a transistor for each. Um, I am having trouble with this. I can't get the BCD coming out of this 74C915 um, so we got a little issue there I need to sort out well this has been a challenge uh, we're starting to sort through it um, this circuit here using the MM5314N um, which is a seven segment output trying to get it to function as a one out of ten driver to make a six digit clock using edgelet displays um, it's been a real chore I thought I had a good design on paper and I went ahead and put it together on a perf board here and there were some bugs in it um, had to add some pull down resistors on the segment lines. What I'm using here is the MM5314 7 segment outputs, and they're going to get fed into this uh, 74C915. That's a 7 segment to BCD decoder, which is pretty cool. Um, that BCD output then gets fed. What I'm going to use is a 4028 in place here where I got going on there. Um, because of my little goof up here apparently in my design 
I had to just put a temporary little pull off here to get the PCD down to the breadboard where the 4028 is now temporarily and a redesign of the transistor circuit um, initially I did not use base resistors uh, other designs I've seen they eliminate them um, it's not working here uh, I think it's back circuiting going on uh, a whole bunch of weird stuff it was getting crossover glowing some LEDs that were staying on all the time and just erratic operation so I went put it on the breadboard here and uh, some base resistors current limiting resistors to the LEDs and I have to play with resistor values yet but it appears to be working so right now I am on the second output it's a six digit clock right so we have the digit drivers six transistors which will operate the six digits of the clock um, I'm on ones of seconds if I move this line over here to tens of seconds you should see that LED change every 10 seconds right now it's on zero now it's on one and now it's on three so that's that's working and it counts up to five and then goes back to zero so that's the tens of seconds so uh, minutes and hours are going to work the same but much slower we don't have that much time <laughs> to sit here and watch that um, but uh, that should be that should be it I just want to add a special thanks to Jack from Electronics USA and Matt from 50s Transistors Radios. We uh, had the same, we shared the same hobby. So um, they uh, helped me a little bit uh, with some information along the way. We share back and forth. And of course, this book is uh, kind of handy too. See most cookbook by Don Lancaster. Uh, hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more clock stuff.